Man, I'm Welcome to the So Good It's Bad podcast, guys, with your host, me, Chaim Samuels. What is going on, everybody? Woo! We got a lot to get to today. Episode, the name is called, I'm Still Making a Movie. Yes, I'm going to get to exactly what's going on. For those of you who are maybe new to my channel or don't know, I am making a movie. I've talked extensively about that. I want to talk about where I am in the process. I'm close. I'm, I'm close to getting it done. <sighs> It's definitely frustrating, because every time I think that I'll be finished by the end of a particular month, it ends up bleeding over into the next month, and then, uh, then it ends up continuing to go until that month is over. And so that's sort of what I've been doing. But I, I really do think by the end of June, I will have finished the episode. I really do think so. I have a lot of faith, and a lot of faith, because uh, I'm so close. I only have a couple of more scenes that I have to do. The movie's it's coming out pretty good. It's act, I, I'm pretty surprised by myself, honestly. Uh, I know <laughs> that sounds a little a little full of myself, but I'm I'm actually pretty surprised by how decent. I I I thought I I when I decided that I wanted to make a feature length film. Uh, totally on my own, and just get that type of experience, it would look like absolute garbage. It's not that bad. It's coming out pretty good. I'm pretty excited for what it's about to drop. So I'll keep you guys posted on that, and I'll talk more about where I am and what I'm doing exactly with the movie uh, more into the episode. But I first want to talk about my life a little bit because a lot has changed. A lot has changed. Specifically, like since, since last year, a year from today, let's say, my life is completely different. It's very strange, honestly, where my life is headed right now. And I can't imagine my life being anywhere but here right now. And to think that it was in a completely different place than it was last year. Because last year, I'll take you through it, I think I was still doing stand-up at the time. And one of my personal goals was uh, I was trying to build my channel up to about a 1,000 subscribers. So that's sort of where I was holding at the time. And those were my two goals. Acting, I don't even know if it was very much even in my peripheral. Like, stand-up and YouTube, that was really my main goals at the time. And so, to think now, where I've pretty much retired from doing stand-up comedy, and I, I hit a 1,000 subscribers, and now my goals are completely different. Like, I started this year thinking I want to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and now that's not even... That's not even one of my major goals. It would be nice to get to 10,000 subscribers, but right now, I've pretty much been full-time acting. It's It's been a lot, honestly. <laughs> um, but uh, the, the fact that I was able to pivot from stand-up, now I'm fully acting, and I'm working on a couple of projects right now that I'm really, really excited about, and that's really what I've been... what I've been doing for, for the past few months. And the amount that I've been doing sort of has been increasing. I know I haven't been posting a lot, but it's mainly because I've been working on uh, a couple of projects right now, like the movie, and I have another project. Once I'm finished filming the movie, that I want to start to get into pre-production. Honestly, it's a lot. It's a lot. I, I There's a lot of stress coming, coming from me right now. I'll be honest, I'm not that type of person. This is going to be a rambly podcast, honestly. I don't know if I have a particular like place that I want to get to by the end of this. I have a couple of topics I want to get to, but I'll start with the fact that, uh, you know, I haven't always been the greatest when it comes to pressure. Uh, I haven't been the greatest when it comes to handling a ton of pressure at once. It's something that I'm really trying to work on and get, and get better at. I think I am. Uh, luckily that I have some really great people in my life that definitely are helping me with that. And right now, there's a point in my life where I'm taking on a, a lot right now. So I'll, I'll sort of take you through, I'll sort of take you through what the, the past couple of months have been like for me and what I'm sort of doing right now and where I hope to see myself by the end of this year, the, the type of things that I wanna do. I might have talked about this already, but I need to get it off my chest because uh, there's a lot that's been going on right now, and it's starting to build up all the, the pressure, and I need to figure a way to handle it. So, in short, about a year ago is when I decided, I think, that I wanted to just stop doing stand-up comedy, maybe even less than a year ago, is, is sort of when I wanted to start dabbling in acting. I, I don't know exactly, I'm not really sure exactly what sort of gave me that motivation. It could have been a friend of mine, Cody Clark. I've talked about this. Uh, 
casts me in his feature film, and it really, really invigorated me. It sort of motivated me, and it, it sort of woken something up inside me that I think I hadn't been feeling for quite, uh, quite a while doing stand-up, and I think from then I knew that I had to pivot. Stand-up wasn't making me happy, and acting, I think I've always, I've always wanted to act. It's been pretty obvious. I think in my life, I've sort of, even when I was doing stand-up, stand-up for me was a means to getting to acting, and so I think I was just really scared. I never knew how to get into acting. Stand-up felt a little bit easier to get into, and so I think I, for a lot of different reasons, went into stand-up, and after doing it for like five years, it felt very daunting to then decide to totally pivot and totally pursue a different uh, a, a different path in my life. It, it was it was very tough to do, honestly. When I because you know you invest so much time into something, at a certain point you're like, it, it just it doesn't feel like you can stop doing it. You know, it doesn't feel like you can totally decide to give up on something. Again, I've invested like five years into this, and this was like a whole thing that I whole plan I had in mind, and I felt if I quit, it would just it would. It would be sort of a waste, but at a certain point when it wasn't making me happy, that's what I decided to do. It was a tough decision, but I, I quit doing stand-up, and I started pursuing acting, and from then until now, what I've pretty much done is I've pretty much tried to tangle out as much as I possibly could. So I started with signing up to some Facebook groups. Uh, I remember someone gave me a tip, and it's it's worked out. It's, it's been a really great tip for any actors out there. Join some uh, local acting groups. Uh, I live in New York, so I, I I joined some NYC like actors and filmmakers, a couple of those types of groups, and I've actually managed to get some gigs. And uh, <clears throat> then I joined Backstage. Backstage has been huge, and I've just been consistently like every day, like going into Backstage and just signing up for auditions, and I've been getting auditions, and. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll say this, and this is going to sound very arrogant, but um, just try to understand what I'm saying. So, <laughs> uh, because I think when I was doing, why acting to me seems a lot easier. It seems way easier. I, it seems like I'm doing pretty well for myself. Um, whereas, when I was doing comedy, it always felt like I was banging my head against the wall. Like, everything that I did felt like I was pushing a boulder up a rock. Every small, like, I, there were really just small victories. It felt like for every, for every, like, so often, there would be something really small that would happen that would make me, like, it, it was like increment, increment victories. Like, I was slowly slowly building up for myself but it just, it felt like it felt like so overwhelming and it felt so stressful and the same could be applied to YouTube it's like I, I wanted to get to a thousand subscribers it took me two years just constantly putting out content it was very stressful like slowly and slowly and slowly when I got to 500 subscribers it like plateaued for a good while like a month or a little, over a month and that was incredibly stressful and it just felt like Every it smelled, felt like the victories were very small and far in between. But then when I got into acting, like the past six months, I don't know, man. It's just felt, you know, for lack of a better term, it felt really easy. Like I started signing up for auditions on Facebook and I started getting gigs. And it didn't feel like I was getting rejected every turn and I wasn't, like I've been getting... I've been very thankful to be getting actual gigs. Like, I, I think in the past year, uh, I, you know, after uh, featuring in my friend's movie, I was able to get uh, two, I ended up acting in two different short films. One of them I actually got paid for. Uh, then I acted in a student film that I just, I just, that they just wrapped up. Um, and... I'm acting in this trailer right now. I'm getting paid for that as well. And I just got another gig that I'm filming for next week and over this weekend. Like, it's been just been piling up. And it's been a lot easier. I didn't expect that, to be completely honest. I expected to go into acting and it was just going to be incredibly difficult like everything else. And it's honestly been going a lot easier than I expected. And it's, it's sort of hard for me to wrap my head around because, again, everything that I've sort of pursued at this point has been 
has felt incredibly difficult and it's it's felt like I've just been pushing this weight that's been pushing back against me sort of and I've been ah, slowly slowly making progress but in acting again it's like gigs have not been difficult for some reason uh, I think that could be I think I, I've found really what I love to do and I'm really I think I'm really good at acting I think that's something that I can I can say acting is really my first and foremost passion and something that I think um, I think you know with comedy stand-up comedy I just never felt like I was the best in the room usually there's always better comedians than me acting though I don't feel that way I feel a lot of the time like I'm actually one of the better actors and again I know this seems very arrogant like I'm full of myself here but um, you know it's not that I haven't gotten rejections I have but the rejections have been a lot fewer and more far in between than the actual results and I know maybe I'm jinxing myself here and this is just independent stuff as well I haven't really booked any like big commercials or anything like that but any of the stuff that I have tried to book in any of the auditions I've been getting stuff and it's been building up like again this this week is just freaking packed I'm meeting with somebody today for an audition and it looks like I'm probably gonna get it and then Friday I'm filming something a friend of mine uh, a filmmaker of mine and then Saturday I'm I'm doing some lines for a trailer that I'm gonna be acting in and getting paid and I just booked a gig for next week another short film and it's like Whew, like it, it feels kind of uh, I don't really know what to do exactly with myself because it it I'm not I'm not feeling the same type of resistance that I was doing the other stuff and um, I you know and it's and uh, it feels it honestly feels pretty good it feels like this is what I've been meant to do for a while and it, it just it's just really been clicking to be honest like this I'm like this is what I'm supposed to do and it's like very clear and I think because of that I've decided to take on as many projects and work on as many stuff as possible and um, I think that's sort of where the pressure is starting to come in because I just have so much that I'm deciding to take on and again like I said before pressure hasn't been always the easiest thing for me to be able to handle and I, I kept telling myself that any time that I sort of gave up on a project or, or a job didn't work out for me I always said that when the right thing comes along I'll be able to just do it because I love it and finally acting came along and this is absolutely what I was meant to do at least for myself like this is what I absolutely love this is what I want to do and I started to feel that fret that pressure feeling and I sort of had to make a decision for myself and say okay well well this pressure feeling doesn't go away no matter how much you love something if you really want to succeed at it that pressure is always going to be there I just so I, I need to learn to maintain it I need to learn to be able to take on more projects and be able to not totally burn out all the time and give up because something's difficult and that's sort of what I've been trying to do and working on and my my schedule is crazy right now honestly it's like every day there's there's something and um, you know I was speaking to my therapist not so long ago and I was I was sort of feeling very overwhelmed particularly because uh, you know I quit stand-up and I pivoted to this entirely different uh, different art form and now I was completely new and I had to start all over again this is after doing stand-up for a long time and not really feeling like I was getting anywhere and it was really really frustrating to have to it just it, it always feels like I'm never quite in the place that I want to be like I'd like to be on TV right now I'd like to be I'd like to be in a place beyond just independent stuff like stuff where I can really see my career grow I don't feel like I'm there right now and I was telling her this and she said something to me that sort of gave me some perspective and she said look to be honest I have actors that I counsel and their worst complaints and what they stress about is they're not getting gigs at all it seems like you're getting gigs right and I'm like yeah I, I actually am doing pretty well uh, my, my schedule is pretty full and she's like well there you go and that sort of helped me to gain some perspective that I'm actually doing well within this space for right now my schedule is packed and although I'm not doing a lot of professional stuff I am doing a lot of independent stuff to build up my resume 
So right now I'm building on my resume. That's sort of my goal of mine right now. Uh, but I am, I am definitely, there, there comes a part in every time that I decide to pursue something where I, I, it seems like I go strong for a while and then the, the, the most stressful thing is like where I can't figure out how to get to the next step. That's what's really stressing me out. Like I'm doing a lot of independent stuff and I am, I am booking a lot of stuff and I'm very appreciative for that. I think I need to have patience, but I, I also, it, it becomes frustrating. I want to get to that next place so badly. I want to get on TV. I want to start booking those types of gigs. Like how do I do it? It becomes, it's like, how do I book a manager? Like all these stressful things that I tried that, that sort of stress me out during doing stand up and YouTube. It's like, I always want to get to the next step. And I feel like I, I sometimes, I sometimes have the proclivity to give up, um, sort of, sort of when things start to plateau, I don't want to do that. And so, you know, I am trying to take on as much as possible. Right now, it is just me building up my resume. I booked a decent amount of gigs, and I'm, I'm consistently booking stuff. I would like to, my next goal is to start booking stuff on TV, see if I can at least even get some back background work on some actual professional TV shows. That's really what, that's really, that's really, I think, the start. And then if I can get, like, a line, I think that'll be the start of something really amazing. Um, but right now, I think it's good. I'm just, I'm, I'm professionally building my reel and... Although it, it becomes stressful when, when it becomes stressful, I'm trying to take on all that stress. I think part of the stress also is I'm in the middle of making, I'm in the middle of working on a couple of projects right now. And I guess we should get to that. We, I'm in the middle of making the movie. I'm getting closer. When I, the first, the first body guess when I started, when I announced that I'm, I think officially making the movie, I was already in the middle of filming. I'm really getting closer to it now. I only have a couple of weeks and if I really stick to a schedule, I'll be able to finish filming this movie. <sighs> I don't even know. At this point, it uh, at the beginning, it really was this passionate project, and at the end, right now, I just want to, I just want to finish it, and I, I'm really fascinated to to find out how people are going to receive it. Honestly, um, you know, because uh, I think I'm surprised to myself a little bit. Again, this is just me rambling, and also. Patting myself on the back this entire podcast, but uh, I think it's actually coming out pretty good. I I'm pretty impressed with the fact that I've been able to sort of keep a level head through this entire filmmaking process, um, and especially with all the stress that I've been putting on myself with all booking a bunch of gigs and um, not really having enough time to sort of recover between a bunch of stuff. Again, this week is sort of packed for me, and the stress is building up, and I'm trying to figure a way to not let it overwhelm me and at the same time stick to a particular schedule when it comes to this movie because I just want to finish it already. Um, I think the craziest scenes that I've had to film, the most stressful scenes, I think I've already done. So there's this climax that I'll talk a little bit about, I don't want to spoil too much, where it entirely takes place under a bed. <laughs> That's the whole thing. It's, uh, and it's really annoying. Uh, it was really annoying having to film this thing. It's, it's, I had to set up... I couldn't even film just under a bed. I had to set up like blankets and like sort of like a fort. Uh, and that was stressful because you try to keep the fort afloat. And every time you film something, the blanket drops and you got to fix it again. And uh, <laughs> in the film, actually, uh, there's a moment where I just I just lose it. And I feel like that the emotion really comes through in that scene because it is it was just a day of stressful frustration, nothing working out, just getting so pissed, uh, and it's so, it just all culminated to sort of this point, and, uh, where, where I just sort of, <laughs> where I, all my emotion was in it at the time, uh, so I think a lot of good came out of it, I guess, you know, I, I think what I'm, I'm trying to do more in my life is be a little more positive, take the really sort of, um, frustrating moments in my life, the, the, the moments that, uh, seem to be the worst, and really turn them into something that's actually good, you know, um, right now in my acting career, the fact that I've only started now, I'm 26, so it's still young enough, you know, I'm not even in my 30s yet, but it still feels, I'm in my later 20s, and I've been doing stand-up for, I did stand-up for like five years, you know, and then decided to, to I, I realized that I wanted to do acting, and I sort of think to myself, why didn't, I wish I had started earlier, I wish I hadn't put all this time into doing stand-up just to realize that acting is really what I wanted to do, um, but if I'm actually looking at it with, uh, with the right perspective, I actually think I wouldn't have been able to achieve 
and have the type of work ethic that I have now doing stand-up if I hadn't really put the time and effort into doing comedy, you know, because the type of rejection, the work and effort that I had to do and build up those specific qualities in order to then, and, and YouTube as well, where I had to consistently do everything myself, I had to consistently motivate myself, there was no one around me except for me to do it, and the, the work ethic I had to build for myself, and the type of rejection that, that goes into it, to then follow that into acting, like I said before, it sort of feels like a, a breath of fresh air. Like the, the, I'm able to handle it, I think, a lot better because I put the time and effort. I think if I had started a few years ago into acting, I might have just been way more stressed out and felt way more depressed about it. Maybe I would have given up. So uh, I think the fact that you know all that stuff sort of prepared me for acting, where now I actually feel like this is really what I want to do, and I feel like... I'm handling it a lot better, and I, I'm a lot more mindful about where I want to go and what I want to do with my career, and, and I'm actually doing a lot of the steps that you're supposed to do, you know, building up my resume, you know, get, I got headshots, you know, reaching out to people, I'm doing a lot of those things that you're supposed to do as an actor, uh, and I think a few years ago I wouldn't have had the drive and work ethic to be able to do those things, which are, which are really the toughest things, those little things that you don't want to do, but I've, I've been putting the time and effort really taking on a lot, and I, I feel pretty good about myself. Um, but how did I get on this tangent? Right, I was talking about the movie. The movie's coming along, people. Uh, the movie is, is definitely coming along. I got a few more scenes that I need to film, and I'll be finished with it. I can't wait. I honestly can't wait. And I have another project that I'm starting afterwards. I don't want to talk... I don't really want to talk too much about that. I'll get into that uh, when I'm done with the project. But in early July, it's getting into pre-production. Like, why am I doing this? Like, I decided to take on a movie a few months ago. And I've been writing the script and really filming it. And I'm just going to produce it and put it on my channel. Um, God, what a weird idea to have. I don't know. I feel like I'm, I'm sort of a strange guy. Just decide to make a movie. I don't know. It was something I needed to prove to myself. It really was. And the fact that I'm really getting close to being done with it. I'm almost finished with it. Uh, and the, the stress that goes into just independently making a movie by yourself, taking a camera and a mic. You know, I there, there's two parts of me. One is just like, this is a cool project. I don't expect much. Uh, and I hope I can post it on my channel and people will get something out of it and I'll get something out of it. But I don't expect much. On the other hand, I want to put it on YouTube and I sort of have this feeling where I'm like, it's gonna, I hope that everybody looks at it, it's like, this is a masterpiece. I become the next Kevin Smith. Like, wow, this is so good. We're just gonna hire you for everything. That's not gonna happen. But you always sort of have that in mind when you're making something that like, maybe you're making a masterpiece or maybe you're making a ball of shit. You know, that's sort of the, that's sort of the thing that goes through your head when you're sort of working on these types of things. I actually, I do think though, it looks a lot better than I expected. And Man, once I get this movie done, it'll it'll just be nice to finally get this movie done. And I really, I, it's it's very it's been very stressful. I just I have so much going on right now. And I'm trying to, I I don't know if I'm I, I might just be repeating myself. The movie though, it's 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 I'm finishing it up soon. I got a few more scenes, um, and I really can't wait until I'm finally finished with it. Of course, then I'm going into another project. Uh, I'm working on a web series. Uh, I'll just give you guys that. I'm working on a web series, something I'm really excited about, and I'm taking a lot of the tips and skills that I've learned over the years, especially with making this movie, and I'm I'm putting that into the web series. I'm very excited about it. Can't wait for that. So the, the fact that I'm taking on a ton of gigs and I'm also producing a ton, ton of stuff, um, I hope I don't burn myself out too much. Um, but uh, I'll keep you guys posted on the movie. It's coming along. It really is. What can I say about the movie? Um, I'm hoping to get it a little bit over an hour. And as of right now, I think I'm getting to that goal. Uh, man, I think I'm just stressing out just thinking about it. God, it's, it's just it's overwhelming. Um, yeah, the movie Sleep. I'll be finishing it up hopefully at the end of this month. Um, and, uh, I hope that you guys enjoy it. I really do. Um, I really hope that you guys uh, appreciate it. Honestly, that's, that's really all I want to do is create good art and make that type of stuff. I feel like I'm repeating myself. So I guess 
uh, I guess I'll end off with saying that uh, I got a lot going on, a lot of stress, but I hope to overcome it because this is something that I, I undoubtedly know that I want to do with my life, make movies, and I want to act in movies. And I'm doing that right now, and I should be appreciative for the fact that I'm able to do that in my life right now. I don't have a lot of expenses. I don't have a family or kids, and uh, I can afford to do that right now, and um, I, I'm trying to keep that mindset. So thank you guys so much for listening. I'll keep you guys posted on the movie again very soon. It's, it's I'm going to be done filming and hopefully put together a trailer. It's coming along, people. It's coming along. Movie sleep. Keep you guys posted on that. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope that whatever passion you're pursuing right now, you don't give up. You don't give up. If you love what you do, stick with it. I promise you. I can't promise you things are going to work out. But I can promise you that um, things will ultimately get better. You'll get better at whatever you're trying to pursue if you really want to. All right. Stay tuned, guys. Take care.